You're a broke underground artist with no food in the fridge, no girlfriend, broke as hell with no motion. I'm gonna give you the best ways to make money as a money hungry, broke underground artist. Now, the first way is selling your preset. Now, I know from experience, selling your preset is one of the best ways to make money. I mean, just look at what Nico Woodier said, and he has 50k monthly listeners on Spotify. And for all the ways I'm about to show you, it low-key requires you to be like a smooth talker. Watch, watch, watch. This is how you do it. This is how you do it. Yo, what's up, bro? Yo, Yo like, up, I'm bro? trying to hear some of your music, bro, for real. Some of my music? All right, I got you, gang. You know who I am. You my two on him. Yo, turn shit off, bro. This is just ass, bro. Your preset sucks, bro. You trying to buy my preset for, like, $25? Damn, my preset's really ass. Yeah, let me... Sure, why not, bro? Let me buy a preset. If you're just trying to sell your preset in IG DMs, what the fuck are you doing, bro? You need to talk your way into getting that money out of niggas. Come on. And for band lab niggas, this method works super good. Especially if you have, like, a godlike band lab preset, niggas are gonna wanna buy your shit so bad. You got to tangle out of all the way up there. Yeah, uh-huh. Yeah, ha. Yeah, uh-huh. And then when I turn it down, and I take them off, uh-huh. I don't sound nothing like Can Can, but I put this on. Yeah. Anyways, you gotta join a Discord to do this shit. If you wanna sell your preset or do the, any of the other methods I'm about to talk about, you have to join the Discord first. So join my server, Cody Cord, and Underground Hub. Oh, this nigga camera Oh, Gary, what's your hand, bro? Fuck this. Damn, this nigga is. Nigga, you're nasty. Just five. I took my eight. Don't find people that sound like ass or just new artists in general and be like, bro, if you want, you know, I can sell you my little preset for like little five dollars or whatever you wanna price it at. Yo, big cool guy. Buy my preset. I bet, bro. I got you. I know from experience this works, bro. I used to sell my preset for 15 and I used to mix people's songs for $5. Now, when you hear it, it's like, bro, $5 is nothing, but you are not me. I was ass. I was actually terrible. And I was still getting money from this rap shit. Like here and there, I was getting money. $5 adds up, bro. I ain't gonna lie. If your mix is like remotely decent, you could convince any band lab nigga to pay you to mix their song. I guarantee it, bro. Any Anybody trying to buy my preset? Anybody <laughs> trying to buy my preset? No, bro. Who Fuck are you? Preset. That shit bright, Yo, it's just five dollars, bro. It don't matter, bro. My bad. Fuck your preset, bro. Nigga, <laughs> fuck you, nigga, you bitch made his head. Keep in mind, you're gonna get most of your discords off Discord, but outside of Discord, every single one of you should be doing this right now. If you're not doing it, what are you doing? You should be distributing your songs to all platforms. If you are not on Spotify, Apple Music, all that stuff, you're so cooked. No sponsor, no bullshit, none of that, bro. DistroKid is the fastest, best distributor out there, bro. And they pay out consistently, unlike these other shitty ass fucking distributors like SoundCloud or United Masters. On SoundCloud, you could get like 4K streams and get like probably like $4 or 4 cents. But you get 4K streams on Spotify, that's $40 minimum. And that's just from Spotify. And when you have DistroKid, it posts to all platforms. If you don't have DistroKid, you could get it for 7% off at the top of the description. Of this video also it's mad cheap to be able to post your music yearly and still get paid off of your shit like, i don't even remember the last time i played for like distro kid i think it was in february so that's coming up so i'm gonna have to pay that that little 40 dollars again also another way to make money as an underground artist is to sell your merch or make a clothing brand of your own some popular people have done this are kanye can can thug i know you've seen young thug spider hoodie everywhere bro every single nigga got that fake ass panda buy spider hoodie on bro you need to hop on the wave bro and I know you seen RR Can Can, he really going crazy with that clothing shit, man. I'm telling you, bro. He's really next up. But you need to produce your own merch, produce your own clothing shit. That, that's a good way. That's a very good way to make money. Shout out to Nico Woodyard for that. I ain't gonna lie. But the next way only works if you're good. Now, if you're not good at rapping, if you're not good at singing, whatever you do, this shit is not gonna work. It's features and opens. I remember when I first started rapping and I saw a niggas posting $20 for an open come ready. I was like, what the fuck does that mean? What the fuck does come ready mean? What the hell? Bro, when I say be bready, that means be money ready, be bready. So if you block food, that means you was cat food by being bread. But if you don't know what it means, it basically just means come money ready. Like, it's self-explanatory. Anyways, making people pay you to feature on their songs is a really good way to get money as an artist if you're actually good. Also, if you're just starting out, don't charge crazy ass prices. On top of that, doing SoundCloud reposts is also good. This low-key like step 3.5 or whatever the fuck we on. But SoundCloud reposts is a really good way to make money too. But that's only if you have motion on SoundCloud and like 
promotion in general. If you got a thousand fucking followers and you charging niggas for SoundCloud reposts, like, come on, bro. What are you talking about? I'm not gonna lie, bro. I probably paid Duop Kane over like a hundred dollars in SoundCloud reposts. I even paid Smoking Skull, bro. Smoking Skull, nigga. I had no idea what possessed me to buy a Smoking Skull repost. The last way to make money is to do social media. If you're not doing social media, if you're not doing YouTube preset tutorials or TikToks, Instagram reels, any of that stuff, you're selling your bag so ridiculously. Just run up all platforms to get steady income from a whole bunch of places and not just rely on one platform. But if you enjoyed, make sure to subscribe and check out this video while you're at it, bro. I ain't gonna lie. See you in the next one. Peace.